G'day and welcome back to my channel. In this episode I travel up to a special local place, to me, Mount Glorious. I often visit this place because it's only an hour's drive and is one of the more pristine habitats, not too far to travel. In this video I start up the top at Northbrook Gorge and follow it downstream in search of one of my favourite local fish, the southern purple spotted gudgeon, in hopes to find them with eggs as it is now their breeding season. Their breeding season spans from November to March. Along the way, we will see some nice habitat and some other cool natives. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, please like and subscribe for future videos like this. After the steep climb down the gorge, we are greeted with this pristine creek with beautiful little clear pools, large boulders. This is a really nice habitat, surrounded by ferns, palm trees and old growth forest. Up at these heights the water is pretty cool and not much to see at first but there are some large cools of Australian smelt and a lot of little shrimp in these pools. Although the creek is surrounded by a few sedges and ferns, there isn't much aquatic plant life in the creek itself. As we slowly make our way down the gorge though, there seems to start being more fish to see, and I see the occasional Marjorie's hardy head schooling in amongst the Australian smelt. Then as we get further down, we start seeing some local crimson spotted rainbows. And then we know we're starting to get into the right sort of habitat. And with these more open areas, there seems to be a lot more algae and mosses starting to grow on the rocks and many more plants growing along the edges. At this point, you don't seem to see as many shrimp, a lot less Australian smelt, and a lot more Dubalayo alongside of the Marjorie Hardy heads as the water further downstream starts warming up a little bit more. Now at the bottom of the gorge, you can see a beautiful transition from when we came here earlier in the year, before winter, when the floodwaters had come through and wiped out all the plant life. It has now made a beautiful comeback for spring. It's amazing how much these creeks transform from season to season and from wet to dry. I thought I'd stop and show Nick these beautiful staghorn ferns, or Platycerium superbum, common to this area. They look so majestic in the canopy of these trees overhanging the creek. Then we spotted this beautiful local carpet python sunning itself on a large fallen log across the creek. It truly was a beautiful sight as it slithered off into the undergrowth. This truly is a pristine place. As we make it further downstream, Harlan is finding out how slippery the rocks are as he's trying to film us in the distance. Then I brought these two young YouTubers to a favourite spot of mine. The hardscape here is beautiful and even in the dry season there are little pools remaining as a safe haven for the fish. In this particular spot I'm always pretty lucky to find some southern purple spotted gudgeons. The water here is freezing but worth the effort seeing the beautiful hardscape encrusted with the local Mount Glorious Moss or Physidens Berteri. 
and then what I was finding looking for a large southern purple spotted gudgeon guarding its eggs on one of the rock faces. You couldn't ask for a better sight in one of these pristine environments. These southern purple spotted gudgeons can be quite rare and endangered in most parts of the southern states but here is a bit of a safe haven for them and they are flourishing. Here in the shallows you can see the young fry from the purple spotted gudgeons hiding in amongst the botanicals. And then in one of the crevices, one of the small local crayfish or yabbies, the Charax depressor and a water spider laying in wait for prey. I take a small swim of the camera just to show the habitat with all its beautiful rocks and botanicals and the slender knotweed that's been inundated by the water flowing downstream after the rains. Some of these rock faces look beautiful encased in this moss, in these pristine cool waters. The beautiful rainforest roots creeping down into the hardscape with forests of slender knotweed. This is a really beautiful biotope. Then we move on to another little spot that I explored a couple of weeks in advance. A spot that we'd been to previously in other videos. I also noticed there was another good spot for the southern purple spotted gudgeons to spawn in amongst the roots in a totally different habitat. Another young carpet python sitting in the tree watching us from a distance. You can see how all the botanicals are bunched up over the rocks through the winter and this makes a great place for the young fry of the southern purple spotted gudgeon to hide in. We visited this particular tree root in previous videos where the rainbow fish were schooling around it. Now there's hardly a rainbow fish to be seen as while the purple spotted gudgeons are spawning they have chased them all away. Here you can see the same tree roots, just loaded with botanicals and some of the plants are starting to make a comeback around it. And deep in the roots, I find more males guarding their eggs. Always ready to chase off intruders. Like this other southern purple spot that looks like it's had its tail chewed. It's one of the unlucky ones. But just look at the beautiful colours in it in the sunlight. And then back to guarding its eggs. while a losing fish has to go back to hanging around the outskirts. and a nice big yawn from the winner while it's back to guarding its eggs. Another one guarding its eggs on another tree root close by. This area seems like a haven for them.
and on the outskirts a couple of crimson spotted rainbows sparring ready to breed also with plenty of places with all this new plant life for them to lay their eggs on. With all the rickier and mosses it's a perfect place for them to scatter their eggs. And then in and amongst all the mixture of botanicals you can see the young purple spotted gudgeon fry hiding from other predators and feeding off all the fungi and detritus on the botanicals. The Charax depressor are also feeling safer with all these botanicals around and are out and about feeding in amongst it. You don't normally see these as they are hiding under rocks and that. But now with all these thick botanicals they are out and about looking for food. This truly is a nice place this time of year with all the beds of watercress and slender knotweed, the pristine clear water, all the fish and all the other wildlife to be seen. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing how this creek transforms from one season to the next and seeing some cool footage of one of our more beautifully coloured fish, the Southern Purple Spotted Gudgeon. Thanks for joining me and please like and subscribe for more videos like this.